Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Welcome to Easter Sunday, to our worship from Withenshaw and Hill Green Meadows. Let's pray. Glory to you, O God. You raised Jesus from the grave, bringing us victory over death and giving us eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ. For us and for our salvation, you overcame death and opened the gate to everlasting life. Glory to you, O Holy Spirit. You lead us into the truth and breathe new life into us. Glory to you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, it's Easter Day, that most wonderful, special day when we celebrate the triumph of hope over despair, of life over fear. We just come now and thank you for the message that Easter brings of a loving God who is not distant, not some abstract concept, but a real living presence. Lord, you died not for a cause, not for a principle, but for me. It is such a powerful demonstration of love. It just leaves us in awe and wonder. Thank you that in Easter you make all things new. Thank you for the victory and power in your name. Thank you that you hold the keys over death. By your might, Jesus was raised from the grave, paving the way for us to have new life with you. And so it is, we come to you now with humble hearts to just rest in your arms and in your resurrection. Shine your light in us, through us, and over us. May the resurrection, the power of Easter Day, enable us to make a real difference in this world for your glory and your purposes. May we reflect to that world your peace and the Easter message of hope. A message to a world that so desperately needs your presence and healing. When everything was dark and it seemed that the sun would never shine again, your love broke through. For your love was too strong, too wide, too deep for death to hold. The sparks cast by your love dance and spread and burst forth with resurrection light. Gracious God, we praise you for the light of new life made possible through Jesus. We praise you for the light of new life that shone on the first witnesses of resurrection. Lord, at the resurrection you comforted a weeping woman. We praise you for the light of new life that continues to shine in our hearts today. And we pray that that Easter light of life, of hope, of joy, will live in each one of us today, that we will be bearers of that light into the lives of others. Even when Easter day itself is over, may the resurrection be in our lives, a daily celebration of hope over fear. Amen.
taken from Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 8 the resurrection after the Sabbath was over Mary Magdalene Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices to go and anoint the body of Jesus very early on Sunday morning at sunrise they went to the tomb on the way they said to one another who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? It was a very large stone. Then they looked up and saw that the stone had already been rolled back. So they entered the tomb where they saw a young man sitting on the right wearing a white robe and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised. Look, here is the place where they put him. Now go and give this message to his disciples, including Peter. He is going to Galilee ahead of you. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and ran from the tomb, distressed and terrified. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Amen. Thanks be to God. As I was uh, thinking about the good news of Easter, Christ is risen. So I was just pondering how different God's timetable is from ours. Because here we see in Mark's gospel 
that the new life has begun. Jesus is raised from the dead. The tomb is empty. God has got it done. And we so often celebrate Easter as that. It's done. All finished. Jesus is raised from the dead. We have new life. And we present that as if it is that simple for us, that simple for the world. Done. It wasn't like that, was it? Because the first people that uh, God reveals the resurrection to here in Mark's Gospel are too frightened to immediately tell anybody. Clearly, we know they go on to tell people. But they weren't believed. We go by the other Gospels. And they certainly, none of them, changed their lives and the behaviour straight away. Instead, they hid away. And we have to wait until Pentecost for them to discover uh, that they can tell this story, that they can live this story, that really their lives and the world has changed forever. So this year, it's fantastic. It's wonderful to celebrate new life, new birth at Easter. But then we face a lifetime's work to allow God to make it real in us. To give ourselves the time, the space to process it, to work it out, to apply it in the way that we live, in the way that we treat others. And that fits as well, doesn't it, for an Easter Sunday that we celebrate as we start to come out of a lockdown, as we still face an uncertain future. But it's that journey that we are on, isn't it? It's a journey of us taking vaccines to protect ourselves, to protect others, to protect the NHS. It's that rebuilding of society that we face for the rest of our life, to rebuild society, to be more like God's kingdom, a place where all are welcomed, included, celebrated, all including us. And so, yes, Easter's new life. Now we have to live, and we have to give ourselves time and space to do that. So we look forward to that journey together, a journey that includes the forgiveness that we see through the cross on Good Friday. It includes recognising and living through the darkness of Holy Saturday. It includes new life. We won't all be in the same place at the same time. The journey we can share. Holy God, forgive us when we ignore the reality of your resurrection. Forgive us when we take it for granted. Forgive us when we do not allow you to work on the transfer, to see that new life as your journey of all. So we commit ourselves to you again. This is the Sunday. You are our God. We are God. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Christ is risen and the power of his resurrection fills the world today with new life, hope and expectation and so we bring him all of our needs. Faithful God, we think of the church today celebrating the resurrection all over the world. Language, race and nationalities may be different but our worship and our joy on the day of your resurrection make us one with the gospel. We pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen us in mission and service, praying that day by day we may grow in love for you and for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Creator God, we pray that the leaders of the nations of the world, that they give priority to those with greatest need in the distribution of the world's basic resources. We especially pray on this special day for a fair and equitable distribution of the coronavirus vaccine. We also remember today those involved in the fight against terrorism around the world and for all service personnel in active duty around the world. Father God, at this joyful Eastertide, we pray for our families and friends. We thank you for the joy of sending and receiving Easter cards and messages of love and from modern communication systems which bring our loved ones so close even when we are separated by great distances and by the pandemic. Creator God, we pray for those who are in need and ask you to look with pity on those who suffer. We especially pray for all those within our community who have asked for our prayers. We raise those people up to you now, God. We pray for the broken hearted, for the sick, for the lonely, that your very presence would comfort them in their time of need and give thanks for all who work in the health services. Merciful God, we pray that those who have recently died may one day share in the promise of new life, won for us all by the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, and his triumph over death and the grave. Faithful God, as we go out into the world, we pray that we may reflect your love in our families, our church and our community, so that the world can witness that we are followers of Jesus Christ and draw others into his loving care. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the loving power of God, which raised Jesus to new life, strengthen you in hope, enrich you with his love, and fill you with joy in the faith. Amen.